We appreciate all support in any and every way. And I think that we need to stand together as a people in this country, whether we're in South Carolina, North Carolina, just as a people that wants freedom and wants a better way of living. But going back to your question, uh, the media has been interested. We got a large uh, article on the front page of the Charlotte Observer, a large article on the front page of the Wall Street Journal, and we've gotten a lot of uh, TV coverage or some of that stuff online. We have a website called turtleislandpreserve.org, and I think there's something called a Facebook that might show some of these things, like uh, Bob, Bob Buckley did a four and a half minute piece on television where you can see a lot of these uh, buildings that are, as a lot of other building inspectors that are actually certified by the state have come up and looked and said, these are like way better than code, like way better than code. But some, for some reason there's some personal attack going on as might be exemplified to further answer your question. Like uh, the people in the county, have, I don't have anybody in the county that's interested in helping. In fact, uh, uh, Joe Furman, uh, was asked, he's the head of the planning and inspections, was asked by people that came from the state that are in charge of buildings uh, to have a meeting with me so we could talk. And so we went to his office and uh, we were supposed to meet and the state showed up and just before the meeting started something came up and he couldn't make it, Mr. Furman. And the odd thing is, four hours later, we were still having the meeting. We spent four hours talking with one of his people about the word no. That's a lot of time to work on a two-letter answer. But, but they said, if it's not in this rule book, you can't do it. So basically, honestly, no joke, that doghouse you saw in their special report that our taxpayers paid $1,500 worth of, of taxpayers' money to evaluate, that doghouse is four feet long. That means from the edge of the stage to my foot. Actually, that's one inch. There you go. Right there, that's, that doghouse has to have an indoor sprinkler system in case that dog is playing with matches. And <laughs> that doghouse has to have a indoor plumbing and it has to have electricity because it's considered housing because they evaluated that to be housing for one of our interns. That means a human being. I don't know how tall they expect that human being to be, but if they want to sleep carefully, comfortably, they're going to only have to be that tall. So th this is the kind of ludicrousness that we're d dealing with. But, but four hours later, whatever came up all of a sudden for Mr. Furman uh, must have still been going on because four hours later he still didn't show up for our meeting. And we uh, adjourned and had a very thorough explanation of no. So that didn't move us very far, far along other than realizing that we were working with a, a, a no kind of answer.